Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing a little um, life update for you. Um, sorry I've been kind of in my, and there's been videos here and there. Okay. Um, anyway, life has been crazy. Um, I worked, like I got home from Florida. I had like two days off when I got home from Florida. And then I went back to work and like I got home on a Wednesday I worked Thursday Friday had Saturday off worked Sunday Monday and then um, I was supposed to have Wednesday off well um, some people quit uh, Kelsey or not Kelsey, my other night shift manager had quit so I had to pick up her shifts and then um, that next week after I got home from Florida, I worked a seven day stretch and then I went to, um, no, I worked her shifts that week and then the following week I worked a nine day stretch. I worked crazy hours and four out of the days I was in Lafayette. So I was driving back and forth to Lafayette and it's an hour and 15 minutes from my house, but it ended up being like an hour and a half because I ran into construction. So there's been that. And then we just been having some issues with my grandfather. Um, I don't know if I told you guys, but last July he was diagnosed with early onset, um, Alzheimer's. So we've all kind of been dealing with that and everything. So that's what we've really been doing. So my days off have basically been cleaning the house and um, doing laundry because I have been working nonstop. Um, and I've been doing laundry here at the apartment complex because it's just so much easier and I can clean while, I, while my clothes are doing its thing. Um, but yeah, anyway, I just wanted to go on here and say hi. Things are hopefully going to get better. Um, I have already filmed. I vlogged um, the last like four days. I have combined them into one video, and then um, I just filmed a video before this um, on the ColourPop collection that I have, um, which is not a very big collection. Um, but yeah, um, things will hopefully get better. And I know I've lost a couple subscribers, and I know I'm not staying up to date with my videos. It will get a lot better because I can actually, hopefully, I was planning on getting a new phone this month. It's not going to happen. Um, you know, life kicks in and happens. I was sick there for about three days. And, um, yeah, so hopefully when I get my new phone in October, I want to try my best to work as much as I possibly can on getting videos. If that means I have to get up at 8 o'clock in the morning and film, then that, that means I, I just get up at 8 o'clock in the morning and film. Um, I'm running out of ideas <laughs> to do, you know, videos and stuff. Um, I just came up with, you know, the ColourPop collection because I have a lot of ColourPop. I have, like, two things that are Morphe. Like, besides, well, three things. I have, you know, my Jaclyn Hill palette and then my um, 35U palette. But I don't have a whole lot of Morphe. I don't have a lot of Tarte. I mean, actually, I do have a lot of Tarte. Um, but a lot of it, like, I don't have, like, an eyeshadow palette from Tarte. I have this, like, little Go Pro. Or Pro to Go little mini palette, which I can do a, a look with this. Um, like a video. And I have some lip products, but... I don't have like a lot of stuff from one brand. Um, I have one thing that's Too Faced and that's my peach palette and I absolutely love it. Same way with Becca. I have like one thing from them which is the Jaclyn Hill Champagne Pop. I don't have a whole lot like I said. Um, but yeah. So that's really what's been going on with my life. I was trying to make this a long video, but apparently this isn't going to be a long video. <laughs> um, I did end up going to Bath and Body Works and buying some more candles because you guys know I love Bath and Body Works. 
And right now it's their semi-annual sale, so I'm probably going to go hit them up before I go to my parents' house um, and just buy some wallflowers because the wallflowers are $3 and I need some desperately because I do not like the Airwick or anything like that. Um, wallflowers is where it's at. So I'm going to go and get those to go to my parents' house, do some laundry, hang out basically. Um... But, yeah. Anyway, I know this isn't a very long video, and I just kind of rambled, but, yeah. So, I've been dealing with some issues with my shoulder, as you guys, um, I've mentioned previously in vlogs. Um, I have, I have what's called aggravated bursitis. Um, I don't know the great detail about it, I just know it's just from repetitive use. So, I worked in food industry since I was, you know, 17 years old. Um, so, I was at Dairy Queen until I was 22. And, um, 21, I think, sorry. So, 21, 22, and we're con you know, you're constantly mixing ice cream, and I was a shift manager, so I was constantly getting, like, the ice cream mixed out, and filling it up and making, you know, uh, gravy and making, you know, the fudge and stuff like that. And then I went to Meyer and constantly scanning products and moving this arm, bagging groceries. And then I came to Hardee's and I'm constantly flipping fries, you know, the flat, the fly basket. I can't talk today. Fly basket. Um, and getting fries and lifting boxes and stuff. It's just from repetitive movement that my um, bursitis sac, I think is what it's called, is really aggravated. Um, we did an MRI to make sure that nothing was torn because I did do physical therapy for about three weeks. And the physical therapist really did think that I had a torn muscle. So the doctor wanted to be sure that um, I didn't have a torn muscle. He was also checking to make sure I didn't have a tumor, um, in my shoulder or anything like that. Um, but he also found out from the MRI that I have tendonitis and arthritis in my rotator cuff. So he says, if I don't start taking it easy with my shoulder, which it's hard to do with my line of work, he said, I'm probably going to have to end up having shoulder surgery. So on my rotator cuff, not the back of my shoulder. That's where a lot of my pain is, my shoulder, the back of my shoulder. But, yeah. I don't have to have surgery on my tonsils or my ears, thank God, because as I don't know if I told you guys, but the last year and a half, almost two years, I've been dealing with really bad inner ear infections. Finally, they were like, you need to see a specialist. Like, you keep having these ear infections. So, I went to the ear doctor there's nothing they can do. Like he said, there's no fluid buildup or anything like that. And he said with the only times that it happens is when it's transitioning seasons. So like mine happens in September, October. Well, that's when it's going from summer into fall. And then it normally happens in like all throughout the winter season. So it's more colder months. And then when it transitions from spring to, you know, to summer or well, like winter to spring, I get them again, like they continue, and I may get one or two throughout the summer, but it's not, there's no fluid buildup. He thinks it's just climate change that, you know, I don't need tubes in my ears or anything like that. He did say if I get it to where it's bad enough to where I'm like off balance, all that stuff, he wants me to come see him directly, and if it's on a th Tuesday or, thurs or on a Thursday, because that's when he's in Marion in his um, doctor's office there because he has one there and then he has his main office is in Fort Wayne um, so he said if hopefully it's on a Thursday to where I can go see him at his office in Marion and we can go he thinks the balance issue has nothing to do with my ears he said your ears do have a lot to do with your balance it's just like whiskers with cats um, but he said that um, with there not being fluid buildup, 
um, or anything like that. He's wondering if maybe it is in my brain. I don't know. He said the only way to tell that is an MRI scan or a CAT scan to see. And he's like, I don't want to do anything without seeing this infection or what's going on firsthand. He said, because if it does have something to do with your ear, then I can go from there. Get a CAT scan, see, send you to a neuro neurologist if we have to. He said, but I don't want to put you through all that until we know for sure what's going on. Um, so yeah. And then my foot, <laughs> I haven't talked to you guys in a while. I haven't seen my foot doctor since April. Um, I have a, what is called a cyst on my foot. Um, it's not like a tumor or anything. It's just a cyst. Um, it's not bothering me. He said the nerves on the top of my foot, which is where it was hurting the most was really inflamed. Um, so he gave me a couple cortisone shots couple rounds of cortisone shots and my foot's fine he said if I continue like he said if this happens every few months or um you know every six months or something then we'll just keep doing this and then he said a lot of it is your shoes he tried to get the insurance to pay for um customized soles for my work shoes but they wouldn't pay for it um and it's about four hundred dollars <laughs> I'm not paying four hundred dollars for insoles for my shoes when I struggle to make rent. So yeah, so there's that. Um, and then what else is there? Yeah, I think that's really all that's going on. Um, we do have a, hopefully Sunday, I'm getting my hair cut. I'm trying to get everything done. I need to get my hair done before we have our, our family pictures which is a week from this Saturday um, the 16th I was gonna go get my hair colored on Thursday but I don't think I'm gonna have the money so I'm gonna talk to Shannon I was gonna go see my mom's stylist so we can just get it done and over with like in one shot but I think I'm gonna talk to Shannon to see if she can do it um, that Thursday and she does it at home so she gives me a little bit of a discount um, to see how much she's going to charge me to do it it's really just touch root touch up as you guys can see my blonde hair is coming out um, and then I need to get it cut before we have our family pictures the 16th so and we're doing our family picture and um, like our generation family pictures like it's everybody my grandfather um, both my grandmothers, all the grandkids, all the great grandkids, my parents, my aunt, uncle, my other aunt and uncle, like it's, it's everybody. Like it's a huge family picture and we've not had a huge family picture in God, 10 years. I want to say it's been about 10 years. I wasn't driving yet, so, I mean, it's been about 10 years, um, but with my grandfather having Alzheimer's and everything, we need, we want to get this done, so it's kind of like a Father's Day gift to my grandfather, um, and then we're going to do our family Father's Day cookout type thing, we're just going to get a bunch of subs, like my grandma's going to order a few um, of those, like, 12 foot long subs or, like, sub platters, whatever it is from Subway, and get a bunch of chips and, like, coleslaw and stuff and just hang out, be with each other, you know, with our company and stuff. Because um, who knows when the next time, you know, we have our Christmases and stuff, but we don't know how much longer my grandpa is going to be lucid. So, anyway, I'm done babbling. I'm pretty sure there's nothing else I need to tell you. <laughs> But, um, yeah, so that is it. Like, share, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell down below to stay up to date with my videos and you will get notified when I upload. And I just want to say that I, I appreciate you guys so much and I'm so sorry I haven't been, you know, uploading a whole lot. Life has been crazy. If this was my full-time job, I'd be happy I could do videos every day, but unfortunately YouTube does not pay the bills so I have to get or I have to have a full-time job um, but which I don't get paid by YouTube um, 
maybe one day. But yeah, I just want to say that I appreciate you guys and thank you so much for being patient. And I will talk to you guys soon. I love you. Bye.